That's right. Um, not too many people have touched on wine on this channel. Um, there's been a few videos, stuff like that. I think the next three weeks I'm going to bring you some of my favorite wines. Um, this being one of them, uh, me and my wife drink this every once in a while. Uh, it's a Cabernet Merlot. It's made by Yellowtail. If anyone doesn't know, Yellowtail is actually a really good, well-priced wine. You get your money's worth. Nice flavor. Um, this is 2007. Uh, I prefer the 97. Usually, it's better, better age to it, uh, better flavor to it. So I'll be right back. So what I'm doing is I'm unscrewing the top of the wine. Um, these corks are rubber now. Uh, I remember when they used to actually be corks, now they're rubber. Makes them a little bit more difficult to put back in when you want to save your wine and stuff like that. Um, but I prefer the screw down type. Okay, you just hold it at the base, screw it as far down as you possibly can go. Usually the handles will come right up to the top. Press down, bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Uncork a bottle of wine. Now it's gonna be comical and get the, you know, my glass wine glass. It's it holds a whole bottle of wine, you know, the thing's huge, it's like a gauntlet, things about the size of my head. And uh Wine glasses are pretty much all packed away still. Um, when we moved into this place, we really haven't unpacked much. Clothes and computer, pretty much. That's all we've unpacked. So, regular old fashioned glass, highball glass, you know me. It's got a nice, nice, nice blood red color to it. Okay. Uh, nice coating on the glass. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm a wine connoisseur. Mm, nice aroma, very sweet aroma. Um, it tells you everything on the back. It's uh, 77. Uh, Cabernet and 30% Merlot. It's from Southeastern Australia. So all you Aussies out there, hey, good wine. Good to ya. Good to ya. Um, so, yeah. Southeastern Australian wine. Uh, the blackberry aroma. Yeah, see that? Very fruity. Uh, fruity flavors. Merlot containing a truly Australian blend of spices and sweetness. Very good. Enjoy this wine with lamb shanks on a bed of coarse curis. Whatever the fuck that is. I know what lamb is. I like lamb. Lamb's actually pretty good, but it does have a very nice smell to it. Very nice. Very nice. It's not bad, but like I said, I prefer the 97. For some reason, 97 was just a better year in my opinion. Um, it's very hard to come by old bottles of wine, so if you do guys want to get into you know, wine and stuff like that, um, some of the places I can tell you to look are online, really. Um, just uh, check out certain wines that you might want to try. Um, go to your local dealership. Ask them, because some, because there's tons of wine. There's tons of wine out there, and there's all different classifications. There's cooking wine. There's wine wine. There's you know Chardonnay. There's Merlot. There's the list goes on. Um, next week, I think I'm going to do uh, a great wine from a great director. Uh, Francis F. Coppolo makes a wine. Uh, the Merlot is fantastic.
fantastic. Very cheap, but absolutely fantastic. So, be on the lookout for that, guys. And until then... Try something new, you know? What I'm doing there is opening my mouth a little bit and aerating the wine. The wine's more of a, how do I want to put it? Uh, more of an aroma type of drink. When you suck in the air, it causes it to go into the nasal cavity and you get that sweet smell. And then, um, the aftertaste is Mildly dry, not too dry. You know, a little bit of dryness in there. Very fruity. Um, but, yeah. So, you guys check it out. Yellowtail. Cabernet Merlot. Pretty fairly priced. And that's about it, people. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. Peace out. Eh?